What is the value of zero factorial? Many people assume it should be zero. And to be honest, it seems reasonable because it looks like we're multiplying zero, right? But that's actually not true. The value of zero factorial is not zero. In fact, it's just equal to one. I know it doesn't make sense, which is exactly why we'll be proving it both logically and mathematically in this video. So why is the factorial of zero equal to one? Let's break it down by first looking at a logical example. We know that a factorial is defined by the number of ways we can arrange a set of items. To further understand this concept, we will look at the different ways to arrange a number of letters. First, we'll take three letters, A, B, and C. How many ways can we arrange them on a shelf? There you go. We have a total of six arrangements. So by the definition of a factorial, we can say the factorial of three is equal to six. All right, now let's look at the two alphabets case. Hmm, it looks like we can arrange them in two different ways. So we can say the factorial of two is equal to two. Looks pretty simple, right? Let's try with just one letter. There's only one way to arrange one letter. So factorial of one is just one. All right, now comes the real question. What if we don't have any letters? Hmm, how many ways can we arrange letters on a shelf if we don't have any letters at all? And obviously the answer is there's nothing to arrange and the shelf is going to remain empty. And surprisingly, that empty shelf itself is an outcome. In other words, the only way to arrange the zero letters is to arrange nothing. And that itself is an empty arrangement, a single outcome. So yes, the factorial of zero is equal to one. Let's see what mathematics has to say about it. In mathematics, a factorial is defined by the product of positive integers from n down to one. And we can also rewrite this in a recursive form. That means factorial of three will be three times two times one, which equals six. Similarly, the factorial of two will be two times one, which is two. And the factorial of one is of course one. Interestingly, we can also rewrite these formulas in their respective recursive forms. Now, I want you to focus on these two equations. We know that one factorial is just one. So we can replace one factorial with one. Notice that zero factorial is being multiplied by one. And mathematically, any number multiplied by one is the number itself. So let's just write this as zero factorial. There we go. That proves zero factorial is equal to one. So whichever way you approach it, logically or mathematically, the value of zero factorial is in fact one. Subscribe to this channel so we can create more content like this.